Good day everyone, I'm Diana Carranza. Continuation of our report, Computer-Aided Design. What is CAD or Computer-Aided Design? Product design using computer graphics. When we say CAD or Computer-Aided Design, it is the use of computer-based software to aid in design processes. CAD software is frequently used by different types of engineers and designers. Many common elements dropped using CAD include buildings, infrastructure, component circuits, telecommunication networks, and many more. So, what are now the advantages of using CAD? Advantages increase productivity of designers 3 to 10 times. So, CAD, or CAD can optimize and streamline the designer's workflow which means it can increase the productivity of user. For example, engineers were drafting a blueprint but through CAD as design tools, their project become easier and quicker because this process could easily take days to complete. Creates a database for manufacturing information or on product specification. For example, because of CAD, it improves the documentation communications of the user because of that it often contributes toward the manufacturing design database. CAD software outputs come in the form of electronic files which are then used accordingly for manufacturing processes. Provides possibility of engineering and cost analysis on proposed designs because also of CAD engineers and other designers can have lower production costs for designs which is beneficial to the user. CAD that includes finite or finite element analysis can significantly reduce time to market, enables developers to perform simulations that aid in the design analysis and commer commercialization of new products. So, CAD also includes FEA or definite or finite element analysis. When we say FEA, it is the most powerful and commonly used features in CAD design. So, or CAD, so, be, so because of this feature of CAD, it has a significant impact on the user's market for example, FEA FEA allows engineers to conduct the simulation of a design model rather than having to create a physical model for testing purposes. Production requirements Designers must take into account production capabilities, capability, equipment. So, what is now the production requirements? In able to get the quality production, the designers should also have capabilities or equipments to do it so skills the first requirements are skill because in order to produce a quality work you should have skill in doing it you know what are you know what you are doing for example your role focuses on the use of software and automation process for drafting and your technical skills are Highly important to perform the production with quality and efficiency. Types of materials and schedules. The types of material are also important because in producing high quality, we should also consider the materials we are using to using so that customer will be satisfied in the product that they are using. For example, designer must able to know to know what type of materials is needed to do the production that they are doing. Technologies. Lastly, technologies. It is important because it our modern world technologies helps the designer to make their work easier and efficient. They should consider as well what kind of technologies is appropriate in the work or design that they will do. Next is the manufacturability. Manufacturability is a fabrication and or assembly. It has important implication for cost. 
productivity, quality. As we all know, manufacturability is all is also important in the product design because it has a significant impact on the product's cost, productivity, and quality of the product. In choosing the best manufacturer, it will help the product to be more market market marketable in the marketplace. If you have good manufacturer, even if your product has a high cost, people will still buy it because of its quality and because of its productivity of your product continues. We now go on the DFM and DFA. DFM and DFA. First is the DFM or the Design Manufacturing. Design for manufacturing. The designing of products that are compatible with an organization abilities. So, when we say DFM, it is the process of creating items, parts, or components that are simple to manufacture in order to produce them more cheaply but with higher quality. This is accomplished by streamlining improving and perfecting the product design. For example, the company wants to manufacture a bag in a cheaper, cheaper price to sew the roll of the MM. They will design a bag which has a process which is simpler to do but high quality. In that case, buyers will encourage to buy the design because of its of cheap price. Design for assembly or DFA. Design that focuses on reducing the number of parts in a product and on assembly methods and sequence. While the DFA, it reduces the quantity of parts and assembly steps needed, which simplifies the structure of the final product. Wherein the goal is to increase productivity by making the production process simpler, quicker, and more reliable. Same example with DFM, but in DFA, it will now reduce the quantity of the identified parts of the products to have a more fast of productivity. X is the component commonality. Component commun commonality. When products have a high degree of similarity in features and components, a part can be used in multiple products. When we talk about component commonality, it is an approach where, wherein same features or components are used for multiple products. For example, phone, phones as we can observe some of phones has a, has same feature within the same brand so it is widely used not just because to limit the specific product but to measure the degree of variety of product in the same group that can be produced in the same component or features what is not the benefits of using the component commonality of product design benefits savings in design time first is it will really save your design time because you were not able to think another design but you will use same future within the product family. Standard training for assembly and installation. Opportunities to buy in a work from suppliers. Another is you are able to buy in a work from your supply, supplies and because of that you will able also to save money which is one of the strategic funds as manufacturer having products with commonality components can save time and money. Commonality of parts for repair. And because of the commonality of the products, the manufacturer will also not worry if there are repairs or maintenance that need to do because it can repair in the same procedure. Fewer inventory items must be handled. Lastly, the inventory is of less job to handle because the stock and products have the same features the house of quality the house of quality so 
When we say house of quality, it is a product planning mat matrix that is created to demonstrate the direct relationship between consumer requirements and the strategies and tactics businesses might employ to meet those requirements. As you can see in the present presentation, in every shift, the, cons the customers and designer should able to identify what is given or what is their target on the design that the designer will make. For example, the customer requirements, he or she may indicate here that she wants high degree of compatibility, is operation, and anything else in her design desire design for his product while in the part of the design requirements the designer may able to suggest what design can be compatible or this or the cost customer can also decide on what what she thinks she want wherein hoq is considered the primary to tool used during quality function deployment to help facilitate facilitate group decision making the house of quality sequence as you can see in the presentation the, the house of quality of sequence wants to show the process or the step by step on how the designer will able to accomplish the design that his customer wants it is one of the way the way on how to know what the customer wants because in this way product will be designed through customer desires and taste. Kano model. To better understand what is Kano, mo Kano model, it is a method of prioritizing the degree to which features on a product roadmap, roadmap will likely satisfy customers. More so, so one of the various proprietation session frameworks for helping product team selects initiatives is the Kano model. For example, it can assist teams in identifying the features that will please and even excite customers. Product managers frequently cate categorize prospective new features using the Kano model to prioritize them. These future cate categories can include both those that might let customers down and those that are more likely to delight or even fulfill, fulfill them. Basic quality refers to customer requirements that have only limited effect on customer satisfaction. If pre pre present, but need to satisfaction if absent. If we are customers, of course, we want food products that is quality. So, in Kano model, it is one of the customer's requirements to satisf satisfy their desire to buy the product. It is a basic level quality that customers from the product will have. If customer will not able to see or observe it, it will lead to dis dissatisfaction on the product. Performance quality refers to customer requirements that generate satisfaction or dissatisfaction in proportion to their level of functionality and fit. Performance quality, basic quality in is insufficient to ensure client satisfaction. The expectation that customers specifically consider are shown by the expected quality. Customers will become unsatisfied if their quality expectations are not met. According to the model, unsatisfaction rises as more expectations are realized. Excitement quality refers to a feature or attribute that was unexpected by the customer and causes excitement. Excitement quality. This is, this is the effect of the innovation of the designer. Exciting quality represents the unexpected quality items. It is what is the customer receives more than they expected? Service design definitions. Service. Something that is done to, done to or for a customer. When we say service, it is, it is an act that we do to our customer. Exam, customer. 
Example, a waiter is serving the meal of the customer. It is one of example that a service can do. Service delivery system. The facilities, processes, and skills needed to provide a service. Service delivery system. As a service delivery, you should have facilities that will provide the customer needs. You should know the process of what kind of service delivery you want to do. And especially as a service delivery, you have the skill to do it. It, it is one of the things needed to have quality and better service delivery system. Product bundle. The combination of goods and services provided to a customer. Some of the examples of product bundle is the travel agency company who offers services and product at the same time. For example, accommodation to hotels, booking their tickets for their plane and the activities that they will do in the travel. Service design begins with a with a choice of service strategy which determines the nature and focus of the service and the target market. When we say service design, it is the activity plan on how you will organize your service delivery system. Some of the examples of services service design are the airline check-ins, comprehensive branding system, shipping processes, customer service systems, concert programs, back office cover and services, patient care systems. Key issues in a service design. Degree of variation in service requirements. One of the key issues in service design is degree of variation in service requirements wherein it perceived the different tangible services that the delivery system can provide to the customer, wherein it will ensure that the service has enough requirements that will sustain to the service, degree of customer contact and involvement. And lastly, the customer contact and customer involvement in the delivery system, wherein you should have active, active involvement during the service you provided. With that, you are able to give impact on the customer's mind and especially the product of your delivery system. Service Blueprint. As you can see in the presentation, it is an example of blueprint of service design on a re restaurant. That's the design indicated, indicated what could be the rules and function of a service provider. provider. Each section shows that shows what kind of service should they offer to the customer until the customer were able to live in a restaurant the design simply de determine how a restaurant should de do in order to, to provide the service that they will give to the customer reliability the ability of product part or system to reform its intended function under a prescribed set of conditions. So, real, reliability is a service provider. You have the ability to perform the role of function that been given to you under a prescribed conditions. Example, for, for that, you are a waiter and as your function, you need to accommodate your customer even they demand too much to you because as a service provider you should be able to give satisfaction to the ones of customer more so you are able to perform your function dependently and accurately reliability is expressed as a probability the probability that the product or system will function when activated is the service delivery will perform his her function with when it is needed to offer it, for example, the waiter should only serve if there is a customer that needed, needed his or her service. It is a signal or time wherein she will able to perform his task. The probability that the product or system will function for a given length of time. The probability of time wherein the service delivery will only be given a length of time to reform her or his role for example 
again is the waiter a waiter has this designated shift of time and that is only the hours wherein he she or he could perform the function she has availability the fraction of time a piece of equipment is expected to be available for operation in simplest terms service availability refers to how much of a service is accessible to clients at the, at the time you committed to make it available availability can be calculated as follow availability equals mtbf over mtbf plus mtr where mtbf equals mean time between failures mtr equals mean time to repair wherein as you can see in the presentation this is the formula on how you can calculate your availability as a service provider but let me first define what is mtbf and mtr so mtbf or mean time between failures is a metric that concerns the average time allows between a failure and the next time it occurs. These lapses of time can be calculated by using a formula. Whereas the MTR or mean time to refer is the time it takes to run a, a refer after the occurrence of the failure. That is, it is the time spent during the intervention in a given process. So, this is how we calculate MTBF and MTR. In MTBF, for example, a system should operate correctly for 9 hours during this period. For failures occurred, adding to all failures, we have 60 minutes or 1 hour calculating the MTBF, which we would have. MTBF equals 9 minus 1 divided by 4 equals 2 hours. This index reveals that a failure in the system occurs every 2 hours, leaving it unavailable and generating losses to the company. The opportunity to spot this index allows you to plan strategies to reduce this time. While in the MTR, using the same sample, we come to the MTR by using the from following formula mtr equals 60 minutes divided by 4 failures equals 15 minutes above we have the average time of each downtime therefore the company knows that every two hours the system will be available for 15 minutes being aware of our limitations is the first step to eliminate them then we now use the uptime calculation the uptime up calculation involves MTR, MTBF. We can get to that uptime up time of a system. For instance, using these two KPIs, which is the uptime being the available time of your service. So this is now the formula on, that, on how you can calculate MTBF and MTR uptime equals MTBF divided by MT, VF plus MTR. So that's all. Thank you.